I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm genuinely sick and tired of these math olympiad problems. They're not even, it's not even integration B at this point. It's, I feel so bad for the competitors. It's, they're not even real integrals. So for those who saw my, or who has seen the integration B training in the advanced playlist where we know if we ever see something like this, it's just a sum, right? For like piecewise integrals, n equals to zero to nine. This is literally what we have, the golden ratio of n. That's it. That's literally the problem. It's just compute the sum of this. It's not even an integral. <laughs> and yet here we are at MIT Integration B, giving us math Olympiad problems. So, how do we solve this? You can't. You have to bash it. It's horrible. It is god awful. And here, here was my idea. My idea was either, well, it's not even either. It's just Pascal is the only person that can help me bash this. We're going to use phi minus 1. I'm sorry, not phi minus 1. That would be atrocious. Uh, 1 over phi. This is equal to 1. Okay? We're going to spam the living shit out of this identity. And you'll see why. Right? Phi 1 over phi square is equal to 1. However, phi square plus 1 over phi square minus 2 is equal to 1. So this means that phi square is equal to 3 minus 1 over phi square. So what this means that phi square is equal, I'm sorry, the floor of phi square is equal to the, the floor of 3 minus this. This is just a decimal, right? So this is equal to 2 because it's subtracting. So it's like 2 point something now. And then we floor it as 2. Does that make sense? Now good luck at going up to ninth power. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well, shit, I got five minutes to do this. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Phi, 1 over phi cube, right? This is equal, again, keep in mind, this is this is all equal to 1. The, no matter how many powers, it's, it's always going to be equal to 1, right? We have phi cube minus 3 phi plus 3 over phi minus 1 over phi cube. Okay. So now we have like, what, this is 1 equals uh, phi cubed minus 1 over phi cube. Uh, oh, well, this is 1, so we get minus 3. So this is equal to 4, right? And so plus, yeah, so this means that phi cube, so the floor of phi cube is equal to 4 because it's 4 plus 1 over phi cube and that decimal point is does not does nothing so it equals to 4 okay let's keep going oh boy phi uh going ratio and this and that to the power of 4 this is going to equal fourth uh i think we see a pattern here right we get the pattern right fourth minus what phi square but it's going to be like 4 by Pascal's triangle so it'll be phi square minus oh no 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 it would be phi square plus 1 over phi which is uh, 3 according to this this thing that we have right and then we had plus 6 right because it's an even even uh, degree polynomial so this is equal to, see we have negative 12, negative 6, plus, and then we, you know, swoop, and then we get 7, ah, 7 minus 1 over phi 4 is equal to phi 4, so that means that the floor of phi 4 is equal to 6, I think I did that correctly, I hope I did that correctly, yeah, 
keep doing that, don't fuck up, and um, good luck, right? Yeah, you just, you keep on going until you reach ninth power and then you have to sum it all up, okay? So that, that was my idea. Until Cronin, one of the problem writers, had a much cleaner way. And I didn't know about this. Now, I know nothing about Math Olympiad. So I hope that I didn't get this formula wrong. But instead of doing that trig identity, Cronin used Lucas numbers. Yes, Lucas numbers. So I think if I remember, if I can recall, it was phi minus one over phi, uh, nth power is going to equal to the Lucas number. Yeah, I'm sorry. So no, no, no. This is okay. I think I wrote this incorrectly. So there's there's a reason why we don't use the the Greek letter. So Lucas numbers ln of n is equal to phi n plus 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 n. Okay? Then it's Lucas number of n. Alright? And so now, for those who don't know uh, Lucas numbers, Lucas it goes from L, so L0 is equal to 2, L1 is equal to 1, and so L of n is now, with this sequence, it's going to be 2, 1. Now, you, so you initially start with 2, 1, 3. And then, so it's, it's Fibonacci number, but you, just, you switch the 2 and 1. And what that does is it causes an evil chaos of Fibonacci numbers. So this is now this. Right? Does that make sense? So it's, it's just another Fibonacci number but with this twisted and now it's like oh what have you done you just you caused something else in the fibonacci yeah you get the idea so that's 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 lucas numbers right now you do the same thing as i did right you you you, you perform the same thing right uh so okay phi phi of zero this is one equal to 1, right? Phi is equal to 1. Phi square is equal to 2. Phi cube, what is phi cube? Right, what is, what is phi cube? Well, phi cube is ln, is L, the, the third Lucas number, minus whatever this is, uh, which is, uh, uh, I need to be very careful. I need to be very careful. Uh, this is what, this is what gets me like, is weird. I think the best way for me to write it is negative one, because one over phi is the other way around, but I think they, they put it as a negative. So maybe, oh shit. So maybe, I think the best way for me to write it is negative, negative one over phi. So I'm I'm gonna write it like that because this that bothers me. That that irrational number bothers me. There you go, negative one over phi. Now it's like one plus one plus two plus, and then the this is equal to the Lucas number which is um, so if you cube it you still get ah oh yeah and then it's just this yeah right now it equals to 4 there you go right so you do that for every so we, we do this right for every golden cube this this is equal to the L nth of whatever you have here. Okay? Isn't that crazy? Holy hell. And you go you do that up to like nine. So 
So you, so you get like 1 plus 1 plus 2. I'm going to write this. This is L0. L1 L2 Okay. And then here we have 4. Alright, phi 4. Lucas numbers of 4. So for here it's going to be a minus. Alright, so Lucas 4 is, let's see, this is 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So 7 minus, whatever, so it's going to be 6. And then 11. And then 17. 29. Does that kind of make sense? Like, you, do you see the pattern? And then minus one, plus one, minus one. Well, not not plus one. Just Lucas number, Lucas number minus one, Lucas number, Lucas number and the minus one. So forty-six, right? One, two. Wait, there's up to nine. So we should have ten ten terms. So we have five here. Oh, I need one more. I need one more. Uh, twenty-nine. 16, 5, 76. I think I did that correctly. Hopefully I did that correctly. <laughs> so, okay, and there you go, right? So that's that. Now you go ahead and add these up, right? We have like 2, 4, 8. 8 is 14. 14 is 25 here. Oh god, okay, so we have 17, oh god, I don't want to do this. Yeah, you, you have to add all this up. It's, it's horrible. It is god awful. Um, yeah, there's, i not very comfortable. 42, it's 88. 88 with this, it's like 14, 15, 16, 29, yeah, 193. So this whole integral equals to 193, which I believe is correct. Yeah! I'm sorry to the competitors that they have to deal with math Olympiad problems because this is not an integral. It's an integral. But in the inside, it's not an integral, okay? Let's be real. This is horrible. God. I would have, I know nothing about Lucas numbers, so I would have, I would have not, I would not know that this was the fastest way to solve it, but yeah. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> Shiz. Yeah. Alright, well, that's this finals problem. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.